Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this very special, exclusive, well, it's not really exclusive, but everyone can watch it online, can't they? <laughs> That's true. We're yeah. not doing a backer really. campaign for this. Well, we didn't even do any campaign for Space Tourist, did we? More of a shadow drop. It was the yeah. ultimate shadow drop. <laughs> but yeah, I'm Stan Wilkes, the director of Space Tourist, arguably the worst film of 2023. And I'm joined by its star, its co-editor, I mean, what? That was Sue Denim. That wasn't you. No, of course was, it wasn't that me. That was not you. <laughs> Definitely did not use a pseudonym. Oh no. Sue no. was incredible at the thing, wasn't she? Oh, for she was yeah. amazing. Yeah. She was <laughs> so good. Uh, but yeah, I'm joined by George. How are you? How are you, George? I'm good, thank you, Stan. Absolutely. I play Billy in Space Tourist, which is our brand new film. Uh, my a brand new film that we haven't done an EPK <laughs> for for about four months. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, true. But it's brand new either way. So. Yeah. It is brand new. And so this commentary is really just going to be an excuse to basically muck about and re-watch the film. I haven't actually watched this film in a while. No, me neither. Um, but it's an opportunity for us to give some anecdotes, some some tidbits, some trivia. Some trivia. <laughs> Live and gone, Liviosa. Trivia. Um, <laughs> but yes, hopefully if, if this is anything, I hope it's informative and funny. So I'd say we better get started. Play. I'll count down to, I'll well, count up to three. A one, a two, a three, a three. Play. Play. <laughs> Play. Rich Evans. Change up studios. Ooh, yeah. Iconic logo. Iconic. Oh. No, one knows, <laughs> no one knows us. If you think you've seen any problem. That wasn't that just us tapping into that weird subgenre of student films where every film has to start with a profound quote. Oh, yeah. And we were thinking, right, it's time to take the neck out of it. I love the fact the date is unknown. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so there's no specific date. It's just... That was, I can't remember if how quickly that was introduced in the script. I think that was quite last minute, wasn't it? It definitely was. Oh, Billy has arrived. <laughs> Our one visual effect shot. Oh, now I am! I am! am. <laughs> I'm really pleased in the hindsight. <laughs> oh, that's where it got me, the concept of Space Tourist. Yeah, I remember editing that and actually being concerned because obviously we had filmed about four different cover shots, haven't we? Yeah. And one of them, I thought, oh no, when I started editing it, it didn't look like it was going to work. <laughs> But then that moment happens later on in the scene. I'm really glad it works. Oh, it is. And speaking of which, I think all these shots that are introduced in the film yeah, yeah. are so well laid out and for Billy's character. By far. You know, he's not some malicious alien coming to uh, he's not. You know, inhabit or try and take over the human race or some stuff like that. Nope. But he's just come to goof around. He's, he's, he's come to be a twat. <laughs> yeah. A lovable, lovable twat. And it's amazing actually how that opening credit sequence for us was just going to be him walking and we realised that no, it's going to be really boring. We need to actually think of stuff. We need to be creative. Hate to say this, but it would feel like every other student film, you know, yeah, really walking. Just too much walking. It, gosh, I've forgotten actually how quick it is as well. <laughs> yeah. Little Sam Raimi reference there to the, uh, <laughs> yeah. the, Dutch, the Dutch tilt. Or four if you fancy. And that, you came up with that on the spot, didn't you? <laughs> that was not in the script. That's right. The, uh, the C-U-M joke. You could say I came up with that. Oh. <laughs> oh, me gooster. <laughs> <laughs> you hanging on. Oh, oh that's a fun fact. Uh, I was yeah. I was genuinely so un unathletic that I could not. George is that. about as athle athletic as a nugget trying to wrestle. <laughs> 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 Oh, Tesco meal deal. Oh, I can't get better than that. Gorgeous little dog here. Oh yeah, we haven't even mentioned our parents who did amazing in this movie. They yeah. were so good. Mum was herself was a highlight. Oh, by far, it's the laugh here. And I think what people by this time will have watched the bloopers and they've realised there's actually a few bloopers in the film that we used. Her coughing, um, and there was another one. I can't remember what it was. Oh, it was when I laugh at you falling off the rail. Oh, it was too I, good. I thought, actually, it kind of works. Yeah. There's a self-awareness to it, which I like. That shot, oh. that was just serendipity, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, basically, at the time of that filming, we just saw this guy on the paraglider and thought, why not? It would make it so much more. It just added some production value. We didn't need to pay for it. It just happened. We thought, let's shoot it. Oh, first time of Battenberg. I think we're all out for Billy. <laughs> Even tourists have hearts. Oh, no, this is a perfect example of foreground and background. Oh, this yeah. took us a while to get right, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that freeze frame. Oh, God, how funny that is, actually. <laughs> I mean, uh, Long to care. every time, you know, I'd uh, run up to you, yeah. that spot would get increasingly slippery with mud. Oh, yeah. So, People in the bloopers will have seen you trying to, yeah. trying to run falling over. 
Oh, here's the, one of the best scenes of the film. Oh, yeah. It, I don't know if we had, actually haven't credited your acting yet. <laughs> and it's perfect that we do it now because this whole, this is a one take performance driven moment. And I think it's a perfect way to end the film. It ends on a really lovely note. And everyone's in their right mind seen a Marvel film, so we had to take the mick out of <laughs> Billy <laughs> will not return for Space Tour 2049. Oh, the shame. Oh, <laughs> that is coming. No, it's not. It never is coming. No. Um, but yeah, as you can see, that flew by for you. I hopefully, it, well, it definitely did for us. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, it reminds me of that um, come and dine with me. No, um, Bake Off me. Bake Off. I mean, where he's like, made it, had a meltdown, bon appetit. Oh, <laughs> it's yeah. Like, it's like, yeah, it's like, that's it. That's the film. So Is that James yeah. Acaster or something? I, forgot I can't name. remember his name. Yeah. What? But yeah, anyway, <laughs> it's completely tangential. We're talking about Bake Off now. I'm not even yeah. Bake Off fans. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. We hope you yes. enjoyed it. Billy for Bake Off, potentially? Oh, Billy for the world. Yeah. Billy for president. <laughs> I'd love to say that. <laughs> right, that, I, I'm Stan Wilkes. Thank you for your time. And I'm George Wilkes, and I thank you for the same. Awesome. See you guys. See ya.